cut. <laughs> All right, how you going, guys? My name's Sam. I'm here at the Murder City Roller Girls Awards Night here at the Holy Roller Studio in Prospect. Uh, we're going to go in, film some stuff, uh, and do an end of year sort of wrap up for the season. Um, let's go. So that was the Murder City Awards night. Um, I'm sure it carried on later on into the evening. We had to leave early, unfortunately. Uh, we had an early start the next day. Uh, but let's jump into the Derby season, 2017, bout by bout, uh, just in case you've forgotten what happened. And uh, check it out. Okay, starting off the year with a bang, the crowd was packed in close to capacity both trackside and upstairs for the fringe exhibition match at the Ark in Campbelltown. The bout gave us our first look at this year's freshies in front of a crowd, and not to disappoint, it was a close game all the way through. The themed 80s glitz and glam versus the 90s grunge, it was a chance to see how the fresh meat training had gone off season, along with the now seasoned veterans to lead them. The 80s Glitz won the first half, but the 90s Grunge took the lead halfway through the second after some costly mistakes by the 80s team. The 90s Grunge taking the victory 191 to 174. The first points bout for 2017 was a tropical themed occasion in autumn between the Dames of Hazard and the new team on the block, the Slammers Lines. It was promising signs from the Dames Garage picking up fresh players during the pre-season while still holding on to a number of seasoned campaigners from last year. All eyes were peeled to see how they would perform. With a number of players stepping up last year and earning their stripes to other derby leagues in South Australia, the former Iron Maidens and Vigilantes joined forces to form the Slamazons. With a few freshies and a dash of experience from other players thrown in for good measure, the new team colours were revealed. Holding some serious experience from last year's grand final winners, 
the slams came out swinging with the Dames within reach at half time. The two costly ejections for the Dames, losing key blockers Grimm and Neon, lowered their rotation pool with the remaining players tiring by the end of the bout. The Slams running away winners in the first bout, 257-176. Bout number two for 2017 was sci-fi all the way in May, with a new look Valkyrie Storm taking on the Slamazons. The Valkyrie Storm came into 2017 with a couple new faces replacing experience lost in the off-season, and with the bitter taste of defeat in the grand final last year, they had a point to prove. It's not an easy task when you're facing the Slamazons. One win down and gelling well together, getting their MVP jammer Ninja Dinosaur through the pack time and time again. It was anyone's game at half time, with both teams rolling well, but a handful of power jams for the Slamzons netted big points, winning them the game 209 to a tired Vaux 168. Bout number three was a slumber party in June and a double fixture with Light City, but there was no sleeping when the teams took to the track. With both the Dames and the Valks going down to the Slams, it was a battle for second on the ladder and a step closer to the grand final. Both teams came out hard, but with players unavailable, their endurance would be tested. The Dames' defense has improved in leaps and bounds, with Captain Cassius Belly, Grim, Neon, and Spiker all pulling crucial blocks and disrupting the pack but the Valk's go-to jamming combo of Yell and Rage and Diabolical Rapture were able to find gap after gap with Captain Tritone leading a solid cage defense supported by Azumi, Molly Cyrus, Killer Heidi and Princess Helda. The Valk's too strong, walking it in 193 to the Dames 109. Guys, about number four. I forgot. We were on holiday. I do remember the, the Slams one, 177 to 126. But we're at the snow. My bad. Let's keep going. For the fifth bout of the 2017 season, it was Turtleneck Hipsters and Tie-Dye Hippies the clash of the titans between first and second place. Barring a huge upset in the next round with the Dames of Hazard, we were given a look at the likely grand final for 2017 and what a game it was. The Slams took an early lead but were down at half time and for the rest of the bout. They clawed back to within one point with four minutes to go and the last few jams will go down as some of the hardest fought this year. The Slams sneaking it in 161 to the Vauks 154. The sixth and final bout of the regular season was a fairy tale finish, with the Dames of Hazards taking on the Valkyrie Storm. The Dames still able to take second place if they won with a ridiculous margin. The Dames of Hazard came out fighting from the first jam, and it was hard to believe that this was the same team that just five months ago had taken on all those fresh meat skaters. They put on a masterclass of lateral movement, blocking, and some big hits, and I have a feeling they will be a force to be reckoned with in the 2018 season. The Valkyrie Storm had a point to prove, and with the grand final spot up for grabs, they weren't going to let it slip away. With a jamming duo of Yell and Rage and Diabolical Rapture, points were always assured. With Elixir of Death and Tritone on blocking duty and backup, it was going to be a tough ask for the Dames of Hazard. But they held on to a comfortable lead for most of the game, nabbing it 238 to the Vax 174, their first win of the season. The grand final bout for 2017. Now, what a performance we were about to witness. The Valkyrie Storm came out swinging with a triple threat of jammers. Yell and Rage, Diabolical Rapture, and Elixir of Death were all scoring with impunity in the first half, while Tritone again led the defense, halting the usually rampaging slammers on jammers in almost every jam. The second half tells a different story though. The claws were out, 
and the big hits were all over the track. With the Slamazons peeing back a 70 point deficit at half time to ensure that the last three minutes would turn out would turn on some of the best derby played all year, with both teams piling on 25 plus points each in the final two jams. A bout of epic proportions, the Valkyrie Storm taking the cup from the unbeaten Slamazons 226 to 205. Boom, and we're done. Thank you for watching my little uh, 2017 Murder City Roller Girls end of financial year, end of calendar year, end of season video. Um, it's been a good year, great year, a fun year, some great derby, some epic games, epic grand finals. Um, I hope you enjoyed what I put together. If it was more than what you expected, fantastic. If it was less than what you expected, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll leave you now with something pretty to watch at the end and we'll call it good night. So until next year, we'll see you then. <laughs>